video number two of the September Stash Busters Junk Journal <laughs> Challenge from Dear Julie Julie. Um, I did 12 little golden book journals, so we're going to get started. And remember, they all come with two extra bags of ephemera. So there's the ephemera. If you want to see what's in all these packages, then uh, you can see it in the first video. So the next two journals, The Night Before Christmas. I was really hoping to use up all of my Christmas fabrics, but this didn't even make a dent. thing I actually ran out of was pom-pom trim and the decorative Christmas papers. <laughs> At least that was some. Ow! And the little golden books. I have no more little golden book Christmas books left, so I guess that was something. Maybe I'll need to enter the Dear Julie Julie Stash Busters challenges more often and actually make a dent in some of my supplies. She needs to make one for shabby chic vintage journals. <laughs> That's what I'll be making next. A little carried away with my paper clips apparently. Or those off cuts. I used every bit of paper scrap. So if it's not to your style, the paper scraps, then you need to pass them on to somebody else, like I'm passing them on to you. I really wish I could get more of that paper again, but it's been discontinued. Well, the company's no longer around, so. And this journal I made a big boo-boo in. My front pages wouldn't line up straight, so I had to trim them. So they're just a bit shorter than all the other pages. My front signature just kept going sideways for some bizarre reason. The 
particular about the fourth attempt of taking it out and sewing it back in and resizing it and taking it out and sewing it back in. I just trimmed it and went to bed. So I did snip a little bit off of there. Waterfall. Didn't affect the pages too much, but I am annoyed that it happened. is a night before Christmas story in the recipe book. More paper clip malfunction. I only just found the Dear Julie Julie book or um, challenge and her channel this well it was about the second week of week and a half into September so I really had to motor to get all of these done to finish it before the end of the month. Tried to fit the music sheet to match each book. So whatever the title of the book, I managed. Actually, I didn't even make a dent in my Christmas music either, but I um, did manage to find enough to match the books at least. You'll know the one with the blue cover. It's just a little shorter in the front than the others. I guess not really the end of the world. Love this fabric. I only had a little tiny piece. This is a fabric that my son used to make Christmas gifts for everyone so many years ago. He's 16 now, and I think he was about 10 when we used that fabric. I always do homemade Christmas gifts. Well, always, as in, we don't do them anymore. <laughs> Everybody's all grown up now. But he still does all the Christmas baking, so that's awesome. So, the Rudolph reindeer music. More offcuts for you to make tags, pockets, tuck spots, whatever your heart desires. Love the retro colors of this book. The waterfall for your photos. More flips for your photos, or whatever you want to do with it.
All the stories are complete in each book and in order. Another waterfall. You make a pocket. different spine. More cutoffs, more little scrap pieces. cutoffs to make a flip or a tuck spot or whatever you choose. Another one. Love this um, October October something paper line and they no longer make October afternoon. I wish they still made paper. My little scraps. Another waterfall. Oh, gingerbread boys. Rudolph blue and Rudolph red. And the buttons in the tassel. Some Christmas tree fabric. More cutoffs. It's 
so everything is has the word Noel in it just to fit with the cover. Little tags made from scraps. Little waterfall. And all of these, they're not attached. You can attach them yourself to a page. They're just pinned in there for now. And you can decide where you want to use them. And then you can glue them down to a page. Oops, forgot to cut that one open. Not as finished as I thought I was. So, like I said, the waterfalls can cut all and all the journals can come out and can be put wherever you want them to be to fit your needs for your December daily. And these will be going in the shop starting tomorrow afternoon, which is Friday the 27th. A little red ornament to match the ornament on the front. And finally, the last of the 12 journals. <laughs> they all have the hitch post closure. More buttons. Oops, Jinka Bell got caught. Not too many people could say that, right? That their Jinka Bell got caught. More cutoffs. I know I'm doing them quite quickly, but I really didn't want to make three videos of Christmas journals. There's your waterfall for your photos. Each book has four signatures, and I have no idea how many pages. I haven't gotten that far yet, but more than enough for your winter activities in December. Mm 
or for the entire winter season, I'm sure. your other waterfall. And that's the end of that. Well, thank you for hanging in there with me through the Two videos of 12 Christmas journals. That was quite daunting. Um, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Thank you so much for all of your support and kindness you've shown me on my journal adventure. Catch you next time.